My name is Shelby Wells and this is what I do. I'm Shelby Wells, I'm a paramedic with the Department of Emergency Services here in Charles County. So I got into this field because my cousin was injured in an IED explosion in Afghanistan when I was in AIT, Advanced Individual Training in the Army. And that's when I decided that I wanted to do what the people that saved his lives did. And I started down this path. So after I got out of the Army, I went to EMT school. And in the state of Maryland, they offer it free, but I was in the state of North Carolina. So I did a 30-day program of over 160 hours. And then I did an internship on an ambulance, and that's how I became an EMT after I did all the testing. And then after about four and a half years being an EMT, I went back to college for my paramedic, which is a year long program. Did my internship after I got hired here, and now I'm a FTO on the apparatus and help teach others. I'm a Charles County native. I graduated from Thomas Stone High School in 2010. I was also very active in SGA and all that. My mom and dad still live in Charles County, so I just came home. So as a paramedic, I provide advanced life support care to the patients in Charles County. This can be from people who are experiencing chest pain, trouble breathing, to a simple cut and laceration that we bandage. And then we transport them to the appropriate hospital for treatment. My favorite part of my job is getting to meet new people every day and help them when they call because I like to interact with different people and learn from them and experience different things. I learn just as much from my patients as I help my patients. I think the most challenging part of my job is what anybody says, being away from your family for 24 hours. I have two little boys, but you know, my kids know that when the tones go off, mommy's going to help somebody. So it makes it a little bit easier, even though it's hard to come in here and know that I can have to go at any time. So the common misconception is if you go by ambulance, you get seen faster. Not the case, you still get triaged. So that's a common misconception. My partner and me are two different skill sets. So my partner's an EMT and I'm a paramedic, so I have a little bit more skill set than my partner. So they think we're both the same. That's also another misconception. What makes me say is that I love what I do. And this is one of the few places where I get to be just a paramedic. I don't have to be a firefighter. And I like that. <laughs>